Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to Kennedy. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better me. So it's been, it's been almost a century since Wood Chamberlain scored 100 points in one game. The most points a player has ever scored in NBA history. It's been over a decade, maybe two decades, almost, since Kobe Bryant scored 81 points in the game. And we're in today's game where I'm just wondering which NBA player is most likely to break Wilt Chamberlain's 100-point game scoring record. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. What's good, y'all? What's good, y'all? She's back and get with another video. This is a different type of video. No intro. This is going to be the intro. And... I'm just I just want to do this video for a minute now. Because I'm looking at this the high power scoring we have in the NBA. A lot of these teams are scoring over 150 points. We had a, a, a ridiculous game last year with the Kings and Clippers combined for almost 240 points in a game. The score was like 170, 169 with the double overtime. And the game with what Chamberlain score 100 points in the game. Their team scored 169 points. So we're going to break this down. There's a lot of players in the NBA that can score the basketball. But it's today's game is obviously way different from today the game back then, back in 1962, when he, he scored 100 points. First of all, we got three-point line. One. First of all. Second of all, Wilt Chamberlain was taller than everybody on the floor. There was no way of stopping him, right? Like now we get now now today's game, we got seven footers that can make threes. We got we got six six foot six feet tall people that can dribble on you, that can bully on you. We got people that six five dunking like crazy. We got people that's Barely six foot dunking like the athleticism is crazy nowadays. It's up to another tier. And the three-point shooting is to another tier. We got, like I said, seven footers shooting three-point shots like Curry range. And the the aura of today's game is way different from back then. Right? We got better defenders in the league. Even though you rarely see much defense, honestly, in the league right now. So, it, honestly, there is a definitely a possibility somebody can score 100 points. But there's also other players on their team that can that can drop 52. So, that's the thing. So, I'm explaining a couple players that has to be potential to do it. But I'm explaining the best possible players. There's going to be down to two players. So, we're going to start with the top 10 players, right? Let's start with Damian Lillard. Remember last year, he dropped 71 points versus the Houston Rockets. Now, Damian Lowe is definitely a, good, a big time candidate to, to do this. They at least get 81 points, the, break Kobe's record, right? The problem is he's not on the Portland Trail races anymore. That's the one problem. He's on the Milwaukee Bucks with an MVP. A Finals MVP, a a one a one time champion, Giannis Antetokounmpo, probably the most one of the most definitely one of the most dominant, if not the most dominant player in the game right now. So you got that. So it's going to prohibit Damian Lillard from scoring a lot. He's still averaging about 25, 26 points per game, but for him to get to that at least an eighty one point game record, highly unlikely. Unless Giannis, you said, oh, you have the hot hand. Let's keep feeding you the ball. And Giannis only scoring but like eight points and get about like 26 assists and about like 20 rebounds. That's the only way, right? I don't see that happening. So Dame's out of the question. Devin Booker, another one that came so close to Kobe's record. When he played Boston a couple of years ago, when he was 
you know, coming on as a star. He was just a scorer back then, right? He dropped 70 points in that game. And most of it was really in the fourth quarter. He just got hot out of nowhere. He, he, Boston could no, do nothing about it. Even though they won the game, but they dubbed him still. But Devin Booker just had that hot hand that game. We just nobody can really guard him. See, Devin Booker has a lot of position to, to at least get the Kobe record. Maybe the Wood Chamberlain record. Because he had that Kobe mentality. See, this has the thing with this, this record. The only way I can see somebody beating this record or coming at least close or at least getting to Kobe's record, somebody got to say, just give me the ball. I'm not passing it up nobody. Somebody has to say that. Somebody has to have that mentality that game where I, I have the hot hand. I don't want to pass to none of y'all MFs, right? I'm going to get the buckets. I'm going to get all the buckets. But that's not winning basketball, right? Only way you can do that if it's you're down a lot and nobody else wants to play that game and you just have the hot hand and they just keep feeding the ball. You just keep making buckets. I mean, sometimes, and somehow they all come, make a miraculous comeback and maybe get to overtime and maybe get to that point prediction. Like, you know, like Donovan Mitchell did last year. That's another one. He scored 71 points, but they got to overtime because he made that put back free throw and sitting in the overtime, and he just got hot in overtime. He's another one who maybe is a candidate. I just don't see Dem Donovan Mitchell. He could do it. He could because he don't have nobody else on his team right now. Darren Jared Garland is hurt. Jared Allen is solid, but who else is on that team? So he could. Like I said, the, those two players who I just mentioned, Devin Booker, Donovan Mitchell. Devin Booker is getting prohibited because he got – one of the best scorers we have ever seen played in NBA history and, Dev and Kevin Durant on this team. Like, that's just, just GG. Like, only way that can happen, like I said, same thing with Giannis, same thing with KD. KD just keep feeding Devin Buck on the ball and he just keep getting buckets. I just don't see that happen unless they're down by a lot, right? So, Devin Buck is out the question. Donovan Mitchell is still in for now. But I just don't see it. I just don't see it unless they play in Washington again and he, he gets really hot. Or they play in the Pistons again and he gets really hot. He may cut Kobe's record. But Shay. Um, Shay's play style, I can't see doing. I can't see him doing it. What I mean by this is Shay's game is so um it's so it's so hard for people to guard. But it's a little too slow paced. And what I mean by that is he don't shoot many threes. Now, when he shoots the threes, he makes them. But I feel like in order for you to catch this record, unless you're a big man, if you're a guard, you got to shoot threes. Shades rarely shoots threes. When he shoots them, he makes them. But he got to be really hot from beyond the art for him to do this. And Shay. He comes off as this unselfish player that I don't see him. I can see him getting 50, maybe 60 points in a game, but 80, 100, nah. You can't really see Shea doing it. It's kind of like the same thing with Luca. We're going to get to Luca right here. So, Luca, look, Luca's game is so slow paced. Another one that is just unguardable there's nothing you can do with Luca. he could do this he 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 could but he's such a player he said he's one of those other he's one of those players where he makes everybody around him better so it's not gonna i don't see him jacking up shots all over the place in the whole game he's gonna get him his assists he's gonna get his rebounds he's gonna make everybody else get their points Especially when we got Kyrie Irving on this team, that's that's going to slow him down a little bit. Unless he he can have, unless he has this game where he gets sixty points, twenty one rebounds, and ten assists, you know, versus New York Knicks, uh, sounds ironic, right? Uh, last year, but that's still sixty points. That's not eighty one points. That's not a hundred points. Can't really see Luka doing it, right? We narrowed it down, so we got those players out of the way, okay? Now, we get to the big man. 
This is where it comes down to. Because just like I said with Dame, it's going to be hard for Dame because you got one of the most dominant players in the NBA. Giannis could have the ball in his hands the whole time if Dame's off. And Giannis already dropped 64 points versus the Indiana Pacers. And Giannis is furious right now. He's been averaging almost over 40 points per game the last couple of games. He's furious with his team. So if it's one person, and he's 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 a top two candidate right now. If you're one person that can do it, at least get 81, it's him because he's not he's the most dominant. He's basically a big. He don't have to shoot threes. If Dame's off, he's going to keep feeding Giannis the ball in the paint. And he still has Chris Middleton. And he still has Michael Beasley in the corners to frame. If he's if he doesn't make the shot, he'll kick it off in the corner. They'll make the threes. But they'll kick it right back to him. If he's in the paint, he's still going to be unguardable in the paint. Right? And if Giannis is making his free throws like he did in the finals versus the Phoenix Suns in game six, he might have the best shot. But hold on. Hold on. We're forgetting one player. I said there was two big men that has potential, right? Joel B. Now, Joel B is already leading the league in points, right? But the thing with the difference between what Joel B has over Giannis, three-point shooting, step back ability. Handles about the same, but he can handle the ball, right? Joel and B, if he's making his free throws, which he's a better free throw shooter than Giannis, he can get more than 81 points. Damn near 100. Giannis has Dane, right? Booker has KD. Shea's play style prohibits him. Jason Tatum has Jalen Brown in the whole squad that plays as a team. Joel B has Tyrese Matsey, but Tyrese Matsey is a person that just get can stay in the corner and make threes. And can just put and just give the ball to Joel B. That's the difference. I think Joel B has the best shot of doing this. You know what? I didn't say Jokic because Jokic is a center that just wants to make everybody around us better. He's going to get everything. He's going to do everything. Jokic is, that's why he's a champion, right? No disrespect to Joel B. I believe he's going to get that championship eventually. But Jokic just has a full package. And B has the, the, the scoring ability, the rebounding ability, the blocking ability. And his passing ability has definitely got better. But if Joel B is like furious like Giannis is, and he's going against Washington, Detroit, uh, maybe Cleveland, uh, Brooklyn, be going against those teams. That's small. That's small. That's a like slender small that has nobody to guard him and guard and B. He can at least get over eighty one points. If they go into overtime, double overtime somehow. And B has a chance to get 100 points. So that's why I say right now, it's the, I say it's down to two point people, Joel and B, and Giannis Antetokounmpo. I want y'all to comment down below which player y'all believe has to, is most likely to break Kobe's record or what Chamber's record. Right now, I'm saying Joel and B has a slight edge over Giannis. But those two are in the picture right now. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope if y'all did, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below your thoughts. And share this video to your friends and family out there. I appreciate y'all tuning in for this video. Be involved well in the mouth.